<sighs> Welcome back. <clears throat> As something of a warning, I've got a headache. So, I suppose the you know, bright side is it's not like there's anything I can do that I'm not doing. Uh, sitting here just doubling my way around is relatively simple. I uh, have a lot of the. Well, no, I do not have a lot of this. I have this much of this. Which I'm honestly not sure is enough, but, uh, it would be, but, the, well, you know what, I'll just show you. Come here. Uh, noise, hang on, stuttering. Yeah. You don't? No. Okay. So, I've got, uh, redstone bits in place. These are all, well, these are on five. These are on zero. Uh, so it's every ten that should uh, work out. The, well, let's do this the other way. The uh, concern I've got, I've got, uh, I'm trying to remember, oops. Apparently that was a mistake. I've got uh, something like 40 redstone blocks in place. I did that yesterday and now my head hurts so I have no idea what's going on. I think I'm on Earth. Uh, I should have enough to thump onto every uh, redstone block. I'm not concerned about that. Where I might need a couple more powered rails is uh, at the end, there's that ramp leading down to the other other portal. And I'm not sure I have enough to, uh, yeah, shut up, to, uh, you know, getting down that ramp is easy. You can do that without any power. This doesn't need to be here. But getting back up is going to be, uh, Unless I'm willing to push on it, and I probably could, but I'm not sure I've got enough rails to, because it's like, a, I don't know, 12 or 15 meters down to the uh, portal, which may uh, be more than I can do. Well, I've got 18 here, 17, 16... 15, 14, um, hmm, let me put one, I'll probably want one like over here somewhere that'll stop the thing, but for now let's just see if I can, 4, 3, 2, okay, and then I've got all this, so, one down there, I'll just keep that in mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I need nine more. Uh, plus ten, and probably eleven, because I want one at the front. And then I probably want a rail system through the fortress, which is its own thing. Uh, so basically, to finish this, I'm going to need two more uh, sets of powered rails, which means I need an another dozen gold uh, ingots, which... It is not up to me, it's just uh, whenever you happen to find them. I've been clearing out the basement on the island, it's a not quite halfway clear. Uh, so I've got I've got a big huge opening visible from, you know, the ladder and then I've taken out the uh, the surrounding corridor is now like five meters wide. Hmm. Six, I suppose. I'll show you here in a minute. Ugh. I kind of hope, assume something or other I'm talking loud enough. I know sometimes I don't get that done, especially when I'm in pain. Uh, maybe you can follow along or figure out that I'm walking in. I don't know. But... Uh, I gotta have something ready here. Just a 
just in case. Any bad news? No. Okay, so I need a couple more sets. Hmm. Finding uh, gold is really pretty random, I think. I, you know, I'm going to try something, because I could conceivably... Uh, just give me all that, I don't care. And I've got wood, yeah, that's all I need. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah. Okay. Shut up. Actually, I probably don't want to be where anything can see me. Oh, just give me... Oh, yeah. Um... Multiples of, you know, just to. You don't know how to make rails. That's clever. Come here. Okay. Yeah, I figured that out. Thanks. <sighs> okay. I don't know if this is actually enough to get anywhere, but I'll give it to Troy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably loop here, maybe stop the car right if I can. I mean, we'll see what happens. No. Thinking about it. Uh, what I'm thinking is on that ramp, I might actually be able to just make it work, and it would take some testing. If I. Uh, I might be able to... Well, actually, I'm certain I could uh, stagger. I'd, I'd need to go back for redstone, but I could do it. I, I have enough reels for this, thinking about it. Uh, I don't have them with me. What am I looking for, exactly? Give me lots of these. Uh, more of those. That should be enough. Smack, 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 smack. And, uh, oh yeah, that's way enough. Okay. I may have some rails left over, in fact. But then I'm not using anything that doesn't grow back while I'm doing this. Whoa, hi. think once I have rails all over this, that won't happen again. They shouldn't. I mean, those things will evaporate when I get far enough away. And then I may be wrong about running out of rails, too. Then they shouldn't spawn in here anymore, so I won't have anything to bounce off of as I'm rolling back and forth. I hope. or sneak and take a long time. Either way, it's going to be a long time. You shut up. You can't even see me. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, I'm going to need more rays. Hmm. I can try just thumping in, uh, normal rails on that ramp and, and see if it works, but I have doubts. I think I'm going to need, need a powered rail like every third block, probably. Let go. Damn it. Give me... The mouse wheel's being stupid.
<sighs> yeah, gassed. It's cute that it's trying. I'm seriously gonna run out again, aren't I? Will you? How many of you are there? I almost feel bad for them, except I don't care. This gets me to that block. Okay. Well, fine. The hell was that? Yeah, it's not like I have an axe that I could be using. Okay, here's what I'm kind of wondering. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just do this and assume I'll need some uh, more rails in the future. Uh, yeah, I can try this. I don't know. I think that's enough. I don't know. I'll give it a try and see what happens. Uh, give me quickly a... one of these. this way and see what happens. My suspicion... Oh, it works. Okay. I still, I still kind of need two powered rails for the ends. But, uh... I might be able to get those out of that ramp. Mm. I guess we'll find out. There's still an achievement for rolling a really long way with... Well, there's no achievements at all anymore. It's all advancements. Uh. And then get to the end of this and crash and burn possibly into a portal. Almost. work. I'd, I need a couple of things from over here. i got to figure out a spot that I can actually get a pair of powered rails without disrupting the whole... I might actually... Well, I've got the redstone in place and I don't want to take that out. I like the way it looks. I might be able to uh, get a couple kind of out of the middle of the, uh, the big bunch that I've got on the ramp. hard to guess. And I might need more redstone after all. Which I don't have any with me at all, so... That's an oversight. Probably can put that back. Uh-huh. I should probably consider that there may be a gas here when I get to... Alright, what I'm thinking... Get up, though thinking is just there should be nine in between, right? One, two, three, four, five. If I do this, those stay powered. Oh, nuts. That, okay, that doesn't help me. Let's, um, can, the best I can, I don't know if this will work. Maybe. And 
that is why I can't stand this stuff. Okay, uh, give me this, and this. And I'll deal with that part later. Okay, just get moving up the ramp. Yeah, that works, okay. That's what I wanted. Huh. <sighs> Optimally, I would make this pretty much all powered rails. Just because once you get a few hundred powered rails in a row, I'd have to ditch them for the uh, turns, of course, but uh, you can get moving pretty fast. This isn't bad, it's a lot better than walking or even sprinting. But uh, it's still a bit of downtime getting from one place to the other. Okay, uh, I just smack that there. Give me this. One and I can put buttons here or levers or something that turn the thing off, off and on and let me go somewhere. Probably buttons, levers would leave it on and I would just bounce right back. Now that's not what I was expecting. Can I do... I can make a wooden button. There we go, okay. I guess I'll probably do that real quick. Um, yeah, I should be able to just set this thing down. I probably ought to build some kind of a ceiling canopy something at the end of this in case there are guests. I don't have anything with me for that one. Um, guest? No. All right, so if I just put this here and then thump it, then I can take off. about how slow the fast thing is. I'm still trying to figure out why the hell portals aren't... why they're just teleporting me all to the same place or the wrong place. I don't know what's wrong with that. And there's all this, like, math dedicated to figuring out where you can put a portal that guarantees it's in a certain place in both places, and it's just not working. It's, I've set it down, and it's... Despite being a couple kilometers away, it just thinks it's in exactly the same place as the one I already had. I don't get that. Oh, uh, find an unfortunate place for this, I guess. And now, well, it's still pretty slow taking off. But well, I can always just push it along to a start, I suppose. Um. About that, I wonder if I can. You no, know, I don't want to jump out because A, I'll hit my head, and B, I'll lose my cart. Well, no, it won't roll very far. There is that. If it's all powered rails, uh, ditching a cart, you'll never see it again. It'll be waiting for you at the end. But yeah, this is better than what I had before. And all for just you know tearing apart a basement for the last several hours. Which, you know, is my next uh, fire if there was a blaze. That made no sense. Um, that'll be my next stop is when we go down to the basement and have a look at what I've dug out. There is a lot left to do down there. Um, and some of it's going to be a bit tricky because, well, I'll show you when we get there. It's, uh, the ceiling being, you know, two meters off the ground, which, you know, is its own issue. It's actually pretty hard to see, um, which I guess I'll also explain when we get there. 
Um, but there's a point in, toward the middle of the basement, and I'm approaching the middle because I'm taking out one. I'm taking out the western side faster than anything else. Uh, that there's kind of a lake, an underground lake thing. That uh, is sitting right on top of it's. It's not even on top of the ceiling. That's the problem. It's like two meters up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hi guys. No. Ah. Now the good news, I guess. I would not be surprised if we had lots and lots and lots of little slimies. Because I've really opened up... Well, actually I might be because I haven't been here lately. But there's room for slimes to occur. Uh, so yeah, this... Let's go this way first. The problem with the ceiling being this low... And I have this problem in life, by the way, because... Where, you know, my guy is actually... Actually, I'm taller than this. If I were in a room where this ceiling were two meters, I would, uh, and wearing shoes, I would be hitting, hitting my head. <sighs> this is hard to see from any distance. So if there's stuff lurking in the ceiling, and there usually is, it's, I don't need the iron, of course, but... The point is, if there's redstone or gold, or even, there can technically be diamonds up there occasionally. It's a little hard to spot, so I'm a little annoyed that the ceiling isn't three meters off the ground, but... It's one of those things where it could be if I wanted to put that kind of effort into it. And I haven't really decided. And there's a slime. Yeah, and there's another. So that's how that's working out. It's not exactly a slime factory. I mean, I guess it's producing more of a slime zoo. But, uh, you know, nothing happens to them. They just wander around, and if they're this size, I guess I could probably get me. Or, you know, at least thump me and hurt me a bit. Yeah. So, you know, for better or worse, I've got slimes down here. It, you know, it's good. Overall, they're largely harmless. That's one reason I have the ceiling only this high off the ground, is I can't get really big ones that... The, the ones that are a meter tall, that can actually sting, you know, hit it once with a sword, and, uh, yeah, there's a couple other blocks chunks. And you're done. Because after that, you can thump those with, you know, a baked potato and they'll kill it. Uh, probably ought to fill that in. I've been filling in some stuff. Eh, that's where our diamonds were. I never filled it back in. So, yeah, I've got... Um... I don't know. Let me see where I am. Uh, on the other side of this, I might actually be halfway done. Because this, uh, outer thing is the biggest element. Once you've got this, the rest is kind of concentrically easier. Uh, but that wall back there being zero, and therefore the, the new uh, threshold being five, 65. This is, was the middle. Um, in this direction. And then, of course, you'd have to go to 65, because it's 130 squared by 0 squared. Or 2 0 squared. Um. Oh, that's right. And this is like 80. I might be to halfway done. Yeah. The actual middle is just about exactly this is 75 by 65 which means the actual precise middle is 10 meters out I could go there right now although let me grab something because if I'm right there's an issue with the middle somewhere near the middle real close to the middle is water right here so, taking out the ceiling, or taking out the two meters that I can walk in, uh, 
unleashes water and washes out my torches. I almost wouldn't hate putting things off until uh, I'm going to replace at least the floor and therefore all the torches with uh, stone bricks and um, sea lanterns once I can, but I don't have sea lanterns yet. I heard another one, where is it? I don't know. Oh, I probably walked on gravel or something, never mind. Alright. Right in here somewhere. Okay, it's not the exact middle. But this is literally the middle uh, spot in the basement. So, uh, that was mostly just get this built back up. Somewhere, I guess, apparently beyond the middle. Yeah, there's water that I gotta, when it happens, it's gonna be a real big and rapid mess. Nothing insurmountable, I can pretty much... Once I get to it, I can just swim up, take out all the water, get back down, replace the torches, if that's what I'm using at the time. And, uh... Have, uh... And be done with that. The lava over, I'm just gonna run because I've got food, I don't care. I almost be tempted to, uh... Put, um... A rail system around this, just as a kind of a uh, um, you know commuter system. Shut up. I think there are a couple of places that bigger slimes could probably spawn. Uh, this well, it, it couldn't do it here because it would need to be a bigger, wider spot. But around here is a slime chunk, and if I take out all this dirt, I can get bigger ones. Uh, you know, for better or worse. Uh, I'm mostly just using this as a pla- I don't care too much about it, so... I'm using it as a placeholder, because again, I'll probably stone brick the whole floor down here. That's gonna be a, uh, an event. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna take hours, and a lot of material. That's something I'll probably put off. Well, obviously, yeah, because I need the sea lanterns as lighting. Which I might put them in the ceiling. Like, either both or instead, or something. But backpacks to carry around all the stone bricks I'm going to need would be advantageous. Uh, which, you know, again, well, backpacks are more a thing of going and killing the dragon. Um, oh, about which, I guess. Technically, I'm good on rail systems right now. I've got my little express lane to, um, you know, between portals. Uh, which means from here on out any gold I find is more or less open, like available. So I might, I've got a, I triggered a, uh, uh, cleric in the desert and got a few orbs out of him. Um, well, yeah, I've mentioned that before. I'm thinking of toward two things here. One is, uh, I've got the, uh, I think they're in here. Uh, yeah, I've got, you know, I need a dozen of these to get into the, uh, the end. If I had one more, I could also start working toward doing ender crates. Uh, incidentally, I've got these six and, uh, three more ready to go. And I've got like four puffer fish, which is the important part. Because I've got uh, lots and lots of uh, nether wart here that I can uh, awkward. I think it has to be an awkward potion to start. I could be wrong, but I guess it doesn't hurt me to find, you know, either way. Oh, I, you know, probably need to make more glass balls too, but. That's, you know, using sand, which is a bit of a... No, it's not, because I've been buying up, uh... Where is it? I've been throwing it in here where it makes sense to me. 
I've got some glass, so at any time I can grab three of these and make more another set of bottles. I'm covered on more or less. I'm able to do enough of these. That way, a few kilometers, there should be a bunch of uh, ocean monuments that actually all have sponge. Was that you? I think it tried to sound like a zombie. That was weird. Anyway, yeah, so at some point, probably soonish, I want to get down there, wherever the hell it is, I'll, I'll check. And, um, start hitting, uh, monuments that have sponges, kill their elders, and, and, and gra gather up their sponges and get out and move on and drink more water breathing. And it'll be a whole day, maybe two, in fact. Um, I don't really have a spot for slimes, huh? I'll just throw them in here. Um, nah, sure, let's just do this one. Anyway, I'm out of time, so I'm gonna go and, uh... Oh, one thing, just while I'm thinking about it, I don't know what I have for... I have one. So I can get, like, at least another seven of those. I probably have a cleric in here that I can, uh... Unlock, you're dark enough to be a cleric. Nine. I know there's got to be one in here who's eight. And ten. Nine. Eight. So, like this guy, I can unlock. And then uh, his next thing would be I can buy uh, redstone or lapis. And after that, I can start buying up bowling balls. And I'm obviously not wanting much for uh, blaze rods, blaze powder, because I've got that whole thing in there. It's coming along. So yeah, what stands between me and getting a lot more done in a hurry at this point is basically I need uh, seven more gold ingots, or or sixty-three or sixty-one more uh, nuggets, or however you want to put it together. It all works out. If I want to try to do some kind of strange pigment factory in a in a procedural map, it's never easy. You have to tear out so much stuff just to make sure they're not spawning anywhere else. It's not worth having done. At the same time, you can find gold in the down there. But yeah, so I'm done here for now. Could probably chop these down and get some money, but not today. But we have an express lane now. <clears throat> which is what I wanted to do. And so that's handled. Next time we'll do something else. And I'll just see you then. So, bye.